Good morning, gang. Happy Saturday morning. And it's actually Saturday morning. <laughs> Got so busy yesterday, didn't get a chance to get this one prepped. So here it is about quarter to seven in the morning. And uh, I had obviously been up for a while and kind of figuring out, you know, what was going on in the world. <clears throat> Some interesting things I wanted to mention this morning. You know, y'all had made some comments on videos lately. A lot of people don't watch the news anymore. You get the news from me, from a few other channels. I mean, I recommended a couple of them yesterday on the whole Ukraine thing. <clears throat> and no doubt I will not disagree by any stretch of the uh, imagination that there's some really good channels on YouTube that tell us, me included, what uh, is actually going on out in the world. I mean, I love the one comment somebody made yesterday driving home from work, and he was like, oh, listening to the news on the way home, and it was like, oh, weather report, traffic report, uh, jab information, jab information, jab locations, commercial, commercial, back to weather report. I mean, that was it. And I mean, you see the same thing on the uh, TV or anything like that. Or I mean, you know, open up any... Uh, mainstream media news source, and it's 24-7 where you can get your jab. Okay, for some people, they want to know that information, and that's fine, okay? But that's one story, not the only story. So a lot of people come to channels like mine or any of the other ones I've mentioned to find out what's really going on, because there's some of us who are news hounds and kind of dig through some of this stuff. And I mean, obviously, in as preppers as well. So looking at information that affects us as preppers, but also as human beings. All right. So, I mean, you know, yeah, we are both, believe it or not. Uh, so now the information that's coming out, and you're going to love this, uh, is not to anybody's surprise. I mean, we all know, I talked about yesterday, you know, killing the trying to kill the Second Amendment in the U.S., trying to kill the First Amendment in the U.S. And I had told everybody, this is probably going to happen in other countries. So this came out uh, overnight on one of the sources I follow. And there's been something that is out there that I bet nobody's heard of, because I certainly haven't heard of. But boy, this sounds straight out of Orwell's 1984. Okay like the rest of everything else we've got going on lately. I mean, I swear to God, we are living in that book. I mean, it was a piece of fiction, not, you know, a instruction manual on how to manage, not how to govern a country or govern a world. Okay. But so something came out called the Aspen Institute Commission on Information. And it's been tasked with launching an effort to eliminate misinformation and disinformation from the internet. Anybody want to guess who's running this thing? Oh, Bill Gates and George Soros. You know, those two bastions of equality and, you know, uh, openness, I guess, if you will. Okay. But it's not just the two of these guys that are involved in this. All right. And I mean, I don't have to tell you anything about them. I think we all know who they are. All right. But you also have many people from media, from business, from government that are on board with the project that aims to stop all the questioning of the origin of uh, CV, okay, aims to stop all the information that's out there about, oh, I don't know, the ingredients, the effectiveness, the <clears throat> mortality rate, anything, you name it. I mean, all this stuff of the jab, okay and anything else that they deem misinformation, okay? You know, Katie Couric, everybody's favorite airhead who thinks that, uh, you know, she's some superstar, you know, in journalism. I mean, you know, this is the same chick who's going out and doing uh, exposés on, uh, you know, AI sex toys and all this sort of stuff, you know, these robots that you can have made just, you know, for your own pleasure and you can pick this and that and every body part. And like I told you at one time, you know, it's like, okay, I can just order a, a girlfriend, you know, and it'll be oh, cl as close to human as you can get. Right. Okay. Sure. 
Gorick recently suggested during an interview with Bill Maher, okay, another one of these idiot morons, okay, quote, we should deprogram people who were involved with President Donald Trump's cult. Really? I was a cult member? Jim Jones? The only Kool-Aid that's going on out there right now is the lefties thinking all this is a great idea. All right? You know, then you had the, like I said, government officials. You know, your cyberstructure and infrastructure, or cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency director, a guy by the name of Chris Krebs, who's also a co-chair on the AICI, okay, he declared the 2020 election to be the most secure in history. Who the hell are you crapping? Okay. Now, you wonder where this all went. I mean, Bill and Melinda Gates, you know, their foundation, you know, their money laundering organization there, uh, they've dumped $105 million into this. Uh, the Foundation to Promote Open Society and the Open Society Institute, the hell is that? Okay. Which are both run by Soros. Okay. They've put in about three million bucks into this. So you have literally the billionaires trying to now quelch your First Amendment rights. They want to control what's put out on the internet. Now, God knows if this ever went through, goes anywhere, I'm gone. Okay. Because <laughs> I guarantee you they don't like anything I have to say. Pretty much 99.9% .9 of any of the prepper channels are gone. You can forget about anything about any sort of real news. And we get into groupthink. All right. So you think I'm kidding that this couldn't happen, right? Now, Soros and uh, Gates and everybody, they're obviously domestic U.S., right? But this goes on around the world. And you think I'm not kidding about this one. Let's take a look at Canada. I know we've got a lot of Canadians on here, too, and whether you guys know it or not, okay? Uh, your federal heritage minister, Stephen, uh, I'm going to pronounce this wrong, Gil Gilbo, Guibo, something like that, uh, you know, this guy's got a, a vendetta, supposedly, against political speech on the Internet. He's calling in Ottawa for the censorship of any hurtful comments against politicians and an implement, implement, implementation of a kill switch to facilitate it. Oh, they hurt my feelings. Okay. I've got a great t-shirt. It reads, my rights don't end where your feelings begin. Okay. Uh... You know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, buddy, but, you know, if you can't handle somebody disagreeing with you, God knows you don't belong in politics, okay? You don't belong in a human race, okay? I've got plenty of friends out there who don't agree with everything I do. Shocker! You know, it's not like I'm, you know, in the middle gray and anything like that, undecided. I think you guys all pretty much get an idea. I know exactly where I stand, okay? There is no gray area. It's either black or white for me, period. Okay. <clears throat> but this guy's goal up in Canada is to silence non-conforming analysis. In other words, if you don't agree what I say, you're not allowed to say it. Now, here in the States, we all know that would be a direct violation of the First Amendment. Now, Canada, different animal. Okay. But like everything else, like I've said all across any, anything we do, you see it roll through Europe, you see it roll through Canada, you know, all the, the liberal bastions of uh, politics, and eventually it rolls into uh, the more, let's just use the term conservative countries, okay? Uh, and you wind up getting this. Can you imagine that, <clears throat> and, I mean, and we'll leave 45 out of this altogether, can you imagine the election in 2024? And let's say it's Ron DeSantis, or let's say it's Jim Jordan, or Ted Cruz running again, or who you know whoever running against you know whichever one of the two clowns you know Biden or Harris is still <clears throat> you know the puppet in charge of the Democrat Party. Can you imagine sitting in a debate going and you know 
pick, let's just say Chris Wallace, because we all know how much we hate that idiot too. Okay, you know, there's the uh, fox and sheep's clothing, if you will, if I've ever seen one. But <clears throat> can you imagine asking a question at a debate and listening to your two-minute answer out of whichever one, Biden or Harris, and then go to, in my example, DeSantis, Jordan, Cruz, whatever. Nope, sir, can't say that. Nope, sir, sorry, hang on, we have to edit that part out. Nope, sir, can't say that. Okay, Mr. Cruz, Mr. DeSantis, what's your answer? Uh, okay, that's all that made it through the censorship. Okay. I mean, that's literally what these guys are talking about. You can't question anybody from the left. You have to believe it. You can't talk about side effects. You can't talk about ingredients. You can't talk about uh, corruption. Uh, who the hell do these people think they are? And this is what it, where it comes back to us, guys. This, this is what's going down. We've got to stand up somehow... Take care of ourselves, sure. I mean, that's what prepping is. But I've said many times, you know, in a situation like this, you know, and this that would be an SHTF too. You start destroying the Bill of Rights, that's an SHTF situation to me. Uh, we are going to be the leaders because we are the ones, A, that don't have rose-colored glasses on, okay? We actually understand what critical thinking is. And while everybody else had their head buried in the sand, we actually were planning, preparing, and taking care of all this stuff. So we're going to be the leaders. This is where it comes to. We have to be vocal, and I've said it many times. You know, talk to your sheriff, talk to your mayor, talk to whoever. You know, it's got to start at the ground. You know, this stuff in Washington, forget it, okay? Waste of time. You're not getting through to those people. Those people are too far gone, too corrupt, all right? So it's got to start at the local level. It's got to start <clears throat> with... You know, like I said, your town council, your school board, whatever. But this is the crap that's going on, guys. And I don't want to just beat a dead horse here. But, <clears throat> you know, this is all coming out of the left trying to censor the right. I mean, there's no other way around it. So just wanted to make you aware of that one. Uh, hope you all have found some good information on what's going on overseas over Overnight, uh, there didn't seem to be a whole lot new other than the thing I posted yesterday that uh, we're moving a couple of battleships into the Black Sea. And, of course, Putin is screaming bloody murder with Erdogan. Uh, but, you know, hey, it is it is what it is. So, all right, guys, have a good Saturday. Me, I got broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, corn, and leeks to plant today, let alone I've still got about 30 more evergreens that got to go in. So I'm going to be wiped out by the time live stream is tonight, but I'll still be there, 9 o'clock. Have a good evening. Hope to see you tonight. Pinball out.